Hello everyone, my name is Arman Manjian. Today I'm going to present the CNC platter for educational uh, purposes. So what is CNC? CNC stands for Computer Numerical Control and CSC machines are automated machines used in manufacturing that are controlled by, by a computer program. So uh, these CNC machines provide us uh, an output with a high precision and repeatability. So the project inspiration comes from that we are uh, we will set this CNC uh, platter uh, in our labs at AUA so the students can train and understand what CNC uh, technology means and the G code uh, and tra they can train uh, and understand the G, the G coding. So this, uh, after that the students can uh, go and try to uh, obtain more complex projects on the advanced CNC machines. Uh, our main, uh, our products are com com combined two main core components, the electronical components and the mechanical components. The <coughs> electronical components, uh, we have the Arduino Uno, which will, which, is, which will work like a brain of our system and uh, the CNC shield uh, and three um, stepper motor drivers uh, A4988 uh, and three NEMA motor 17 which are the stepper motors and one micro servo motor uh, to the um, pen lifting and uh, tool changing. Also we will have two micro switches uh, these micro switches will prevent the system from crashing in order if like the uh, machine loses its coordinate system and uh, this uh, these switches will uh, stop the machine from the working. Regarding the mechanical components, the, there will be two linear rails uh, for X and Y axis and two linear roads for pen lifting and uh, also we'll have pulleys and uh, timing belts uh, as well as uh, we will have um, the linear bearings where the pen lifters will be placed on them. Uh, regarding the design principle, uh, uh, let's dive into the design step by step. So the x-axis mechanism will be like the following. Uh, first, we will have uh, the right and left bases. Those are the holder of the uh, CNC, uh, and there will be they will be fixed uh, on the MDF plate. Uh, this fixing will prevent the machine from the vibrations. And on the top of the x-axis rail bracket here, uh, the linear rail will be placed and this linear rail will uh, provide our x-axis movement. Uh, and now uh, let's talk about the main plate. Here the main plate, uh, we will place this main plate on the x-axis linear rail, uh, specifically on the guide of the x-axis linear rail and the motors of the X and Y axis uh, will be placed on this plate. And now let's see how this uh, X axis movement will be provided uh, in the CNC machine. Uh, so the belt will be fixed on the belt fixers here, the blue fixers, and uh, it goes through the pulleys uh, when the motor, stepper motor, will turn, uh, the, this mechanism will provide the uh, movement of this machine to the left and the right. And here we will place the switch. This is the limit switch that we talked about, the safety su uh, switch. Uh, now, uh, regarding the y-axis, the y-axis will be placed on the central plate. Uh, the the, uh, on the bottom side of the y-axis linear rail, 
uh, guide, uh, we will place the uh, y-axis uh, pulley holder. And on this uh, pulley, we will place the, uh, the y-axis belt. So the motor, when we turn, uh, we will see how the pen lifter we will place on the y-axis. So here the pen lifter, the pen lifter will be placed on the y-axis. Uh, also the stepper motor, which is smaller than the other uh, for the x and y-axis here, uh, will provide the vertical movement of the uh, pen plotter. And the micro servo motor here will fix the pen uh, during the plotting process. Uh, and finally, we have here the pen holder. Here we can place all uh, different colors during the printing process. Uh, now let's talk about the wiring and connections. So first of all, we will uh, have uh, the Arduino Uno as a brain of our system. Uh, and we will mount the uh, CNC shield on the Arduino Uno. Then on the CNC shield, we will place the three stepper motor drivers, uh, which, are, uh, which will control the uh, three motors of X and Y and Z axis. Uh, also, the hard limit switch will be placed. Uh, those are the safety switches. And we will get the servo motor from the pin D11, uh, which will be controlled by the PWM signal from the CNC shield. Our system needs to work on 12 volt from 2 to 3 uh, amps current. Regarding the software, the software is an open source software. Uh, first, we will install the Gerbil firmware on the Arduino Uno. Uh, the, the process will be like this. The G-code will be provided to the uh, computer using this software. Uh, and the, the software will translate uh, all these uh, image graphics to uh, G-code coordinations. Uh, after that, the Arduino Uno will control the CNC machine. Then the CNC machine will control, uh, uh, sorry, the CNC shield, and then the CNC shield will control our three stepper motors. Of course, by uh, uh, the, the main controller of these three motors are the drivers. Uh, now let's take a look on the Gerbil configurations. Uh, so as I said, the Gerbil is an open source software. Uh, the most important uh, configuration is like the first configuration, which is equal to 255. This value uh, will uh, provide to our motors uh, be enabled all the time uh, in an active mode. So uh, once the program run, the, the mechanism will start and the motors will, will start moving. And the other important uh, parameter is uh, parameter 21, which is enable our hard limits. So if any wrong happens during the G-code uh, process, the machine will stop directly. And of course, we will have 120 to 122 uh, parameters. Those parameters are uh, responsible for the acceleration of the motors. And we'll have, uh, and also we have many other configurations here, so the user can uh, play with this configuration depending on the, the required uh, system that they want. Um, of course, if we are trying to make another one of this uh, CNC plotter, this configuration must maybe can be different because like each motor has its resolution, etc. Uh, and now let's talk about the generating G-code process. Uh, here is the interface of our uh, open source uh, program. The user can control the program from manually from here or can like input like an SVG image directly, like drag and drop on this uh, software and the G code will be generated automatically. If the student has the code already, 
or like for example he wants to plot like a, 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 let's say a rectangle uh, he can like input these coordinations uh, on the G code and play run uh, bef like we, uh, another ben uh, ben uh, in like additional thing or an ad additional benefit of this uh, application the open source application it provides us like a simulation here uh, so uh, before we run the uh, code, we can like simulate the pass and see whether the uh, movement are going to be on the workplace or out of the uh, working place. Uh, so let's talk about the applications. The applications of this uh, system can be like out of the uh, just plotting process. Uh, like we can replace the uh, simple pen with like the inked uh, inject uh, ink pens for designing the PCB boards. And the student can like also design PCB boards using this uh, machine. For the future work, the students can change uh, this pen plotter uh, or the pen holder to a spindle or a laser. Actually, that's it. And let's watch a video about how this process is working. Of course, here I tried to make the video as much as fast as I can. Uh, this was the first video that I uh, captured. Uh, actually, uh, this print was not on the um, paper. It's I printed directly on the MDF board because I like just testing. Here, the example of the brain. Uh, this example can be uh, also applied on the PCB boards. By, by uh, changing the configurations of the Grebel uh, software, like we can uh, make this process uh, slower or faster. Something that breaks my brain. Why I didn't put another axis so that you don't have this, you have the weight balanced. Also so you have the axis Armenian on your side, right? So symbol. I was expecting uh, you this should have the another uh, one on the other like side so you don't have a weight balancing issue. Three hours it could be a very simple paint. one, like in just it, a simple rail. Detailed. Yeah. Thank you. So did you do this by purpose of not having that axis that stand over there? Or it's just like also saving can, the materials? Want, I mean, what is the reason like that you don't have it there? We have like... Okay. Okay. Thank you. We have the platform for the platform platform. Եթե իսկ այնչ որ ձև հաշված ասենք հաջորդ տարիների նոր որ օկտագորցելու է ինչքան ուժեր կարակի դառի ինչքան ուժերից ավել չարժի կիրառել սրա վրա որն է սահմանափակումները քո համակարգի 
we have uh, uh, we have the other side so you don't have a weight balancing issue we Mm -hmm. we, we, we don't have any balancing issue, like we can uh, come and see like the, the, the mechanism here is very strong and it will never have any problem we test it, but we uh, take into consideration that uh, we can add uh, additional uh, like, uh, let's say, uh, stand from, from here uh, with like a small uh, Pulley for, and yeah. this this will help. Yeah. So did the you process. do this by purpose of not having the axis that stand over there, or just like saving the material? Yeah, chop a leg inch can also cut us. Uh, actually, just just because of the the dimensions of the design mm -hmm. only. Is Kangnas Ramanaka shot sarks on Teshar Velis? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm Ujna vor kara kirar via ester, as you can matorneri tsarutsune yevalem bolor hashpar. Step per matorneri anjatatramana kishatsa sumteshar. Yete irank piti pochenden en spindel. Step per matorneri es chak ta gortse. Drama mi astum es step per matorneri. Uirank fix pumanche. Etramana ken aveli shatsa sum hosang te shar velus. As you can yete ink nor student who zena pochi spindel dani. Pet kai nor hashpar nerani. Եվ փոփոխի։ Դրա համար օկտագորձել են լենք open source ծրագիրը եւ այդ open source Եվ ուրեմն կարամի ընթացքը դեմ որ կանգնած ժամանակ ավելի շատ է ծախսում քան շարժ է ծախսի, որովհետեւ արդեն այդ open source ծրագրի մեջ spendli հնարավորություն էլ կա ադանելու։ Այսինքն այս ճիշտն ասած չէ, չենք չափել, բայց ասենք 2 ամպեր հոսանքը 2 ամ այդ քան էլ շատ Ա, պեպեր է տասումա 3D, բայց տեստ մենք էրկուտի պլոտր, ինչի է 3D։ Շարժվելուց ավելի շատ կծաղսի, բայց կանգնած ժամանակ, կարանք ասենք նույն ծաղսը կարող ունենա, որոտև կանգնած ժամանակ մենք արդեն ընդեղ կոնվիգուրեիշնի մեջ տրել էինք, որ մատորները ինեիբլ են լինելու և իրենք ակտիվ են լինելու, որ ստանան ինչի չես մտածել, որնակ պլոտ էրիան, անջատված մուդի մ Վիկսել ու ժամանակ ավելի շատ հոսանքը ծաղսեմ, որովհետև մեջի պաները, վեյզերը, ասինք, պատկերի չապը, որը որ կարանպես գծի մեկենատ, ինքը սամանապակը։ Ինքը ամանապակը։ Ինքը ամանապակը։ Ինքը ամանապակը։ Ինքը ամանապակը։ Ինքը ամանապակը։ Ինքը ամանապակը։ Ինքը ամանապակ Ինքը դեր ինեբլ մուդի մեջ է, ասկրում եկ կարիք համարիկը ստապ վիճակի մեջ է, ոտակորձվում ու իրա բարշությունը ոնց է որոշվում, ես ինչի հիման վրա այս էլի թվիկսում, որ հետ բարշությունը որոշվի։ Չիշտ ասաց մենք պոպոխել ենք ամենա վերջի բավամ, ինքը վերջում դրեր ենք CNC, բայց 3D իդյան էներ ոչ թե որ մենք ստանում ենք մատերիալը այս է 3D մատերիալ, բայց մենք ոգտագործում ենք, կիրարում ենք երեկ առանցները, Այո, հանձայն եմ, բայց որոշում ակսիզի բարշություն է սենսոր բանկատ է ձերկով պրնասում ես տեղը։ Իշպես ասի կարանք ապլիկեշնիների մեջ պոխենք տնենք PCB բորդ։ Իսկ գրիչը ձերկովատ դերկովատ դերկովատ 
One question. Ha, uh, um, Z axis. Uh, do the stepper motors give you feedback? Uh, if you s if, if uh, 110 uh, pulses uh, are sent, does it verify uh, that 110 was actually uh, clicked or moved? Uh, it gives feedback. Uh, okay. One does the, um, does the software know how to print opti optimally? I noticed like when it was writing, it was for this side to this side to this side. configuration yes, Che Grichi Galisa Vertsunuma Banitz Ayo et bonus setup nach nach hortum setup ay gatsinum karank men uvel eranenk import aisken chiga eli zragri match andekh ka spindelon vana servo micro servo motor batsuma mek tegadrum mek Grichi paguma micro vana servo motor u arten deits Yes, uh, yes. There, there, there. Uh, we, this feedback comes from the uh, to the CNC shield, and CNC shield send it to. One more quickly. This was done. Uh, does the does the um, does the software know how to print? Yes, if if in uh, if you noticed, uh, for example, if there is a repetition in the uh, letters, for example, A letter, uh, the A letter uh, from the both sides, it it goes to the left side, for example, first and writing the A letter, and go to the uh, second uh, side and writing the A letter there. This uh, oh, there there is an optimization for uh, plotting. Uh, duration. That's that is the purpose that it goes from left to right, left to right because of the repetition of the letters. Thank you, Arnaud. Thank you.